what's up? We're going to try to attempt to do a three angle valve job on my daughter's head. Just picked up this kit on Amazon. Got a 45 degree cutter, 30 degree cutter, cutter. I believe that's the 60 degree cutter. I'm going to show you what it all does. Now, the valve seats on this are already bad, so if I ruin them, oh well. I got no ones coming. You can see all that pitting on there. I really uh, destroyed this head. So the first thing we're going to do is Gotta make sure that's all clean, which I already did. Alright, we're gonna start with the exhaust valve. So, you can see all the pitting around there. I can't really pick that up on camera. There you go. I'm gonna take a black marker and we're gonna just color all that crap in. Just they sell this stuff called marking fluid. I don't have it. This will work just as fine. This is basically a guide coat. So you know that you're cut. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one too. There we go. All nice and colored up. Got like two seconds to dry. So I got this kit off of Amazon. It's supposed to specifically be for Predator 212s. You got a five millimeter shaft. Okay. Yeah. Well, focus. Uh, trust me, five millimeter shaft and a 5.5. Not the uh, most expensive one in the world, but it'll do. Actually, it looks like it came with. I think it came with homes too. I think it's for honing out the valve guides. Damn, I just bought these too. Yeah, it's a 5.5 home for honing out the valve guides. Yeah. And that's a five millimeter one. Damn, I just, I believe I just bought them too. Well, whatever. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's the kit there. So, we got to start. Let's see, we got our 5.5. We're going to start with. 45 degree angle. Yeah, I believe it's the 45 degrees the one you start with first. Alright. Let's attach it there. Start the 45. Um, the 30 will be the top, and the 60 will be the bottom, I believe. So, put a rod on. Oop, 
I'll assemble the damn tool outside. Hopefully, this might even save these valve seats. I won't have to press them out. And this is all going to be done by hand, no power tools. Let's see if I can get you in. A little better. There we go. Nice and shiny. Seems to be working. You don't apply a whole bunch of pressure. It's a little downforce. Pain the to do this with the camera and the light in front of me. Oh, nice and shiny. I feel like I want to do it a little more. It's not completely clean. Seeds are pretty pitted. Pretty pitted. I'm gonna keep going. Slowly getting better. Getting better. It's definitely getting better. Definitely getting better. Now, technically, you can, don't have to do all the angles, but what will happen is this thing's gonna focus. Uh, let's see. There's something to point with. This top edge will get cut nice and rounded off, and the bottom edge will get cut nice and rounded off. So that's going to be one, two, three, and that's where your three angle valve job comes from. But we're going to keep on going. Get this thing cut. I'm 
putting a little more pressure on it. Pretty good, looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Now we're gonna do the next angle. Actually, you know what? We'll take this and do the intake now. So we can just go down the line. Too shabby not too shabby at all this one cleaned up a lot faster and easier so I have no problem going to the next step so we're gonna do did our 45 we'll do our 60 next because that's lower don't think I'm going to be able to do the other one. It's a couple turns. Makes that transition right there a little bit nicer. That'll do. See if this one will even touch. Nope, it's not going to touch. So, intake's only getting a two angle valve job. So, I guess now. Interrupted by a phone call. So, now we're going to go to our 45. Or, I'm sorry, 30 degree. Which is going to take the top and clean the top off. So that's going to clean all the crap and make the transition across the top a little easier. Almost like I want to hit that exhaust a little more, but let's get the valves and lap them in and see what happens. Alright, so take our valves and lap them into the technically new seats. We'll see if this works. So I can move here. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't get that. So is that why she deleted the code about herself? I think so. 
Come on, stick. Pop it off. Seats still don't look that great, but we'll see. I'm gonna make sure I don't see any light. I'm still seeing light. Not good. Go off camera here for a second and check this out. Well, it looks like uh, didn't work out too well. It looks like I didn't even touch it, and these heads, this head is still, these seats are still messed up. I can still see light coming through, like <clears throat> bad. So. That kind of sucks for me. These seats are probably just going to have to get replaced. But, that's how you do a three angle valve job. Uh, kind of shitty attempt to try to save the seats. I'm going to probably play with it a little more and let you know what's going on. But as for now... This is, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Quick update. A little bit of work. And it seems to be a lot better. I can still see a little bit of light. But I think with the heavy springs on it. It should seal. So. We're going to give her a shot.